Hi, I'm George Pearson, and these are just a few examples from some of the training videos I have here on YouTube. Now, when you're working with the training, following along the training, if you want to get the materials I used in the training, just go to the description down below and click on the link that's at the top of the description, and this will take you to a page where you can download the materials. Please subscribe, click the like button, and of course, always share on Facebook, Twitter, or wherever. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the video. In this project, I'm going to show you how we can recolor a white car and paint it into a different color. So this will be the picture we're starting with, and we're going to end up with that right there, nice light blue dramatic recolor of this car. Easy to do, just a few major steps to handle. Let's go ahead, we'll start off here. I'm going to actually delete both of these layers on the right hand side. Let's just get rid of those. We'll do that all over again. So there we go. There is the original. First thing you need to do is to take this layer and make a copy of that. There we go. We'll be using this layer, so don't do anything to that layer. Just leave it as is. Now notice in here we have you know white painted car, but there's some coloration down here, a little bit of you know a change of colors in there. We'll be bringing some of that back in again to make it look more realistic. There are two ways to go. We'll take it halfway through and you'll see one way to colorize this and then we'll take it a little bit further and make it even fancier to finish it off. Now the main thing we need to do is to make a layer mask of just the white part of the car. So let's examine this. It's right down into there, a little bit of white down there, around here, there's a little bit over there the roof is a different color. If we zoom in, you can see that. There we go. It's a different roof panel up there, so the top doesn't matter, but the left side does. Now, there are lots of different ways of making selections. I've shown different ways in some of my other videos. I'll show you one way here. Again, this isn't the only way to do this. This is just one technique. Because it's all basically one big solid color in here with some variations, this is a nice easy one to use the selection brushes over here. We'll use the quick selection brush for our main selection and then we'll use the selection brush tool to clean up that selection. Now with the quick selection brush you want to have this on the add option right there. And then you can adjust the size of your brush right down here. Start off with a, a little bit larger brush and just paint in. Notice you do a little paint like that and then Photoshop Elements takes a look and tries to extend that and it does a pretty good job. It's gotten most of this. It's missed the thin stuff down there and the thin stuff back here. Let's just get this little side over here. Did a good job there. Let's do a little bit right in here. That looks pretty good. It has most of that. It missed a little bit right up in there. And it missed a little bit back here and on the back side there and a little bit on the edge right there. So we'll need to fix those parts. I'll do just this piece over here and then I'll pause the video and I'll clean up the rest of those. But I'll show you how I'll be doing it right over here. So I'll just zoom in on this side. There we are. Now there's the selection coming in there. You can see it's not down in this part. Kind of missed the edge right there just a touch. So let's go back to our tools. This time grab the selection brush and you can see the size of the brush. There it is. Make it a little bit larger, not too much. That's probably too big. Now with the selection brush, you can either add or subtract. So I'll start by adding in right here. You simply paint in what you want to have added to your selection. Let go, it then puts that part into the selection. So I'll go around here and I'll paint this in. This is an easy way to do selections using this paint technique. Now don't worry if you go out of bounds a little bit on this. We're going to clean that up in just a minute. So I'll paint through, paint down along the top here. You can see it's kind of messed up right there. And that was the automatic brush was doing that. So I'll take it up here a little bit and right down there. So I'm just adding at this point. So I've now added in everything I want. Now let's switch to the subtract and paint out the stuff you don't want, like right in here. So let's come down, just kind of edge in on that edge and paint that back in a little bit. 
and just clean up that edge of the selection. And then down here, I want to clean it up right along that edge. And you can go back and forth on this. You can add in and subtract and add and subtract to get it exactly where you want it. Let's go to add, bring my brush size down just a little bit. And I'll try to add in just a touch right in there and right there. And I think that's pretty good. So that's the technique I'll be using, using this add and subtract with the selection brush and changing my brush size to fit. So that takes care of that bit. Now I'll be pausing the video and hold the shift bar here to move it over. On the video I'll be fixing this little bit right there and then at the back that little bit right there the thin stuff in other words and this bit right up in here I'll fix that and I'll fix that edge right there. So I'll, I'll pause the video right now I'll fix those little pieces and then I'll bring the video back up again. And there we go, there is the nice cleaned up selection. Now this is the step to take your time on. Everything else on this project depends upon making a nice selection. So if you need to spend any time, spend your time here at the beginning. Everything else is easy. So this is the hardest part, is making a clean selection. Use any selection tools you want to use, anything that's fine, anything you're comfortable with is fine. Just make sure you have a nice clean selection. Now that we have this, we can convert this into a layer mask. Just click on that button right there, which is the Add Layer Mask button, and there we go. The selection is now a layer mask. So anything I do on this image here, double click on the car image, put us over there. Anything you do here will be limited to just that layer mask area so that keeps that confined to just the white paint part of the car. Now, at this point, I could just begin to recolorize this but we have some you know, varying colors in here, right in here, a little bit of green up there from the wall, a little bit of purple down in here. But if you're doing a hue saturation shift, those are going to shift as well. It may look kind of funny. you will be moving those colors away from the colors that are up in there. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to convert just this white area, actually that whole layer, we're going to convert that to just black and white. And then we'll colorize the black and white. Okay. Go up here to Enhance and come down to Convert to Black and White. So there's before, there's the after. Again, we're just doing just the white paint of the car, but that's all I want to do. I'll leave this at the defaults. So that's fine. Choose OK. So there we go. Nice, clean black and white, which it looks the same, really. But all we've done is we've removed the colors out of that paint. So there it is before. You see all the, the purple down here and the green up there. And there it is with, at, without. So we've removed those, those color tints. Now we can recolorize this and not have those color tints causing us any issues. So we'll do that recolorization with an adjustment layer. So layer, new adjustment layer, hue saturation. Make sure you have this checked. Use previous layer to create clipping mask. This is going to limit the adjustment to just that one layer. Choose OK, and there we go. So here's our hue saturation. You now want to check right here, it says Colorize. Click on that, and then that converts that white color into whatever color you want. We now can go through and choose a different color. Let's just come in here in our blues, kind of like this. Increase our saturation a little bit, a real nice, real nice blue. You can go lighter or darker on your colors and have a nice looking repainted car. This is the first level of repainting. And this looks good. It looks real nice. The one thing though that we're lacking here is we don't have any of that color from up here or that color from down here into this. And this could be a little bit more dramatic. So if you just want a, a, a straight colorization, this is as far as I would take it. You know, there you go, there's your repaint. But we can go a step further on this as well. Let's just close this for a second. And to go further, I'm going to blend this black and white colorized layer into our previous layer that had those additional colors in there. So let's go up here to our blending modes. And if I just use the wheel on my mouse and scroll through these, there's darken. You can see how we get different effects. There's multiply. That's actually not too bad. There's color burn, kind of interesting. So you can get these different 
effects in here depending upon what blending mode you're using even kind of highlight you know glowing colors now the one that I want is hard light right there so I choose the hard light which is right down there that blending mode now I because I, I'm blending this into the white car I've lost some of the richness of the color so let's go back up here double click on that icon this is why you want to be using the hue saturation layer in here the adjustment layer so you can go back and make adjustments on this so let's just come in we'll adjust the hue a little bit I'm gonna put it I'm gonna actually type this in put it at 203 there we go let's bring the saturation up a lot this brings my color back in again I'll take it all the way up to 100 bring color back in but it's too bright so let's bring our lightness down right about there so it's about the same color as we had before but now we have that purplish tone showing through here down below we have that greenish tone showing through up here and it looks far more realistic so it looks like it's the same blue that we had before but it also includes those color changes those reflections that we had from the original so there we go that is how you colorize a white car as you can see it's really pretty straightforward the only tricky part at all is to do that careful selection first so that we really limit where that paint effect is and then removing the color and then putting it back in again and then blending back to our original is what gives you that real authentic look and this looks exactly like it was actually in this painted color as opposed to being a colorized photo so there we go that is how to paint a white car thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here you can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here and then thank you again for watching this training video